Greetings, fellow rodents. The swastika is by most people in the West regarded as a symbol of cruelty, destruction, and evil. We associate it with one of the most horrific regimes that has ever been. However, the roots of the swastika go much further back than Nazi Germany. In fact, it is a symbol that has accompanied humanity for thousands of years. It is time to have a closer look at the origin of the swastika. The swastika can be traced in many different cultures all over the world. Evidence from England, Scandinavia, America, India and many other places speak of ancient cultures with the swastika as an important symbol. To many Hindus, the swastika still represents an important heritage and is a symbol of hope, benevolence and good. The ancient symbol seems to be an important part of human history and religious practice, its original meaning being a mystery. In 1874, an archaeological excavation began in Turkey of what was believed to be the ancient city of Troy. The dig was led by a German businessman named Heinrich Schliemann. During the excavation, strange spheres with symbols in them were uncovered at the site, symbols that we would call the swastika. He also found pottery bearing the same symbol. This find was important because it would lie the foundation of the metamorphosis of this symbol into the emblem of the Aryan master race, a new mythology of the swastika to be constructed by the Nazis. Schliemann himself didn't know what these symbols were, but there were scholars who were more than willing to interpret them for him, and one of these men were Emil Louis Bernhoff, who was a scholar of ancient Indian literature. He tried to make sense of Schliemann's finds by turning to an ancient Hindu epic called the Rigveda. The Rigvedas mention a people called the Aryas, and in the lexica of the Rigveda, the word swastika is mentioned. Bernhoff simply put the two together and told the story of these people who were invading warriors from the north who displaced the existing people of India, and how the swastika was their ancient symbol. These were also the same people who we find represented in the Pottery of Troy. In other words, the pseudo-historian Bernhoff brought together two entirely unconnected mythologies. The people of Troy were fused with the Aryans of the Rigvedas, and Bernhoff claimed that the swastika was the symbol that united them. It was simply the perfect excuse to create a new mythology of a single pan-European warrior race using the swastika as their emblem. For a man like Adolf Hitler, a symbol with this kind of mythology was perfect for his ambitious project, and the swastika became the perfect emblem of his Nazi movement. The Nazis wanted to create a new mythology for themselves, with a new foundation in the greatness of an Aryan master race. It was perhaps history's most successful example of cultural theft. The swastika is for most no longer associated with divine blessings, but with race hatred. After the Second World War, the symbol was banned in Germany and Poland. In 2007, Germany proposed a ban of public use of the swastikas throughout the European Union. This upset many Hindus, since the swastika for them still is a very important religious symbol. Millions of people use the symbol on a daily basis when practicing their faith. What started out as an anxiety against Nazism turned into a fight for religious freedom. The German proposal was essentially Eurocentric with little regard of the greater picture. The massive reactions stopped the ban, and European Hindus were still free to display their religious symbol, although still not without reactions from people who confused it with the swastika of the Nazis. Despite the Hindu swastika representing positive aspects of human existence like prosperity, luck and good fortune, the intuitive perception of the symbol in Western minds may never be completely healed. I hope you enjoyed this episode of History Hamster. Remember to subscribe for more videos on history in the future. I would also like to recommend my 10 facts about Chichen Itza and the ancient Maya, and my video on socialism. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more history and updates on future videos. And as always, stay rodent people. Stay rodent. <laughs>